All right, good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday. It's the day after uh, we did that city or helped out uh, uh, landscaper Greg and his guys on that uh, city violation job. Had little Munchie over there. And uh, today we have got a mulching job, but uh, uh, bringing back uh, something you guys haven't seen in a while. So uh, let's see what we got for today. All right, so here's our lot. And uh, this is the, uh, the same client that I did the two days of mulching work over there um, where it was that old logging field where it was full of the briars and all that stuff where we went over there and mulched out for two days. And uh, I didn't have a chance to look at this before I went out of town uh, to go to my brother's graduation. So I came over here yesterday after that city violation and took a look at it. And uh, they want as much cleared out of this as possible. Now this lot goes way back. I mean, it goes, it's 4.7 acres and it goes way back into those trees back there. At some point this was cleared. I don't know if there's any stumps in it or not, but I do know there's some trash. Uh, there's some stuff there. Somebody's dumped an old TV right there. There's a jet ski right there. There's some old cars. I don't know what's in here. So that being said, most of this is just some brushy crap that's in here uh, that we got to get down until I get back to that tree line. So that being said, I brought the mega mower. I've still got it. And uh, I sent uh, the guys from Quick Attach a big, long, long email about everything uh, that, you know, all my feedback on it and everything. And I tried calling the sales guy Aaron yesterday and um, I'll try to get back up with him today, but I still got it. And uh, brush cutters are perfect for jobs like this, uh, especially when there's just like this brush in here, but you don't know if there's like any trash or debris or something like that. The good thing about brush cutters is, especially these heavy duty ones, if they hit something they don't like, they pretty much don't care. Like they don't really give a damn. They just keep going. Mulchers on the other hand are like vacuums. And if they hit something they don't like, they tend to suck it up in there and that tends to be a bad day in a lot of cases. So um, where I can use brush cutters, you know, where I think there might be some debris, that really, really is a great thing, a great tool. So I've pretty much made up my mind that I'm probably gonna end up buying one of these. Um, I don't know when that's gonna be, but um, I'd like to have a high flow brush cutter in my arsenal for jobs just like this. So we're gonna hop in the machine and get started. Look, there's a ditch right here because parking's not great, but uh, we'll make it work. We'll get in here and see what's in here. So let's go find out.
Okay, so where I turned around back there at those pines, um, where all that's grown up back there, where the, the big pines start, where the timber starts, that's only the halfway point basically to the back end of the property. This property is not very wide. Uh, basically goes from that fence to about where that power line is right there. But it goes a mile back there. I mean, it is way back in there. So, oh, there's several other houses and sheds back there. I didn't even see one of them on my left until I was coming back out. Well, it was on my left going in, it was on my right coming back out, but it's right over there. I didn't even see it going in, but I saw it coming back out. So there's another house shed thing down back there. I saw the roof with all the shingles laying there. There's stuff everywhere in here, but uh, brush cutter's doing a great job. The Mega Motor X is, man, dude, that thing is awesome. Uh, I mean, you can see I'm running it at 35 gallons a minute, and it's just going through this stuff without even really slowing down. So, um, all right, well, let me see if I can't try to open this little section up right here, and we'll see uh, see what else we can get done. There's some pretty gnarly looking ruts back there, but other than that, it's not too bad. Well, my tripod wasn't broke before it is now right there i hit a tire in there and it sent it careening off right into the tripod yay look at all this metal and you can't hardly see any of this stuff until you get to it i mean oh thank gosh i mean the brush cutter hit some of it but i mean you can see the blades really aren't in that bad of shape you know for for what they've hit in here they're really not the mulcher would have taken a beating in here so oh there's tires this is not mulchable 
I don't even, it's not even really cuttable with this thing. I'm trying to get some of it, but honestly, all of this just need, you need to bring in a big excavator, 160 or something like that. Where's John and his 210 when I need it? And just rip all of this out. It's all just gotta be ripped out. There's a bunch of big logs back here. And this stuff is piled really high, so it's not mulchable as it sits. So it's piled really high, and it's got debris and trash and metal and tires all in it. Uh, there's rock and concrete in there too. I mean, look right here. This is all piled stuff, but look at, the, here's the metal. You know? So, all this has to be just ripped out, and there's more metal. You know, it's all got to be ripped out. It can't be mulched as it sits. Tires. Yep, I tried to get what I could, but nope, not going in there. Oh, there's a piece of sewer pipe. I'm probably just going to abandon the rest of this. It's just, as far as this, I may try to get a little bit more of that section there. Maybe this right side, open it up a little more, but... Oh. Not much I can do with that in there as it, as it is. Nope, can't do anything about it. So I'll get with the owner. I'll call him this afternoon, but we'll get done what we can today while we're here and just see what we look like. Okay, before we get started on this, let me just clarify something. I did not give the owner uh, a lump sum price to clear this property. I uh, did two days worth of mulching for them, day rates uh, over at a, that other property where it had been logged before and they told me hey we want you to go out here and do two more two days on this lot that we have and just clear as much as you can in two days fine um and i but they did not tell me anything about trash debris you know boats you know shingles i was not aware of all the trash that was in here it was just go out there give us two days as much as you can go that being said when I pulled up over here yesterday and just kind of took a cursory look at this lot, I couldn't walk through it, it was too overgrown. I kind of had a feeling there was gonna be some debris in here. I didn't know there was gonna be this much. So the owner just pulled up. I'm gonna to talk to him about what we're gonna do about this big pile of stuff up here. But I don't want people to think that I gave them a lump sum price to, to mulch this whole thing out and then now I'm trying to rein in on that. That's not how this went. They had a budget. Their budget was they wanted me to do two days worth of day rate work over here. Um, instead of trying to go further back in the woods, I'm going to talk to them about reallocating some of their resources to this pile of crap in the front and getting it squared away because if they want to put a house on it, that's probably going to be where it's going to be instead of way back there. So uh, let's go talk to him. But I just wanted to clarify that point before we went any further because someone will be like, oh, you're, you're, you're not doing what you say you're going to do. That's not the case on this. So let me go get with him and we'll see what we're going to do. All right, we're done. 
they just came by we had a nice 30 minute talk with them and or i did and uh explaining everything i think so here's the story on this property i saw the for sale sign but it, it, there's a for sale sign right over there i think somewhere oh it's right there so um i thought that that was an old for sale sign and i thought that they had just bought this but actually they own it and it's for sale so they're trying to clean it up and make it more presentable for sale which makes sense so um i gave them two numbers one to a guy that had that i know does land clearing uh, his office is actually about a mile down the road from here i'm really good friends with his dad and um so i gave them their number and then i also gave them the number to clay over at land services company about maybe just having all of that sprayed so they could bring the drone over here and spray it and just kill it all and let it turn brown and then you could kind of get a better idea of what's in there you know so um, they may do that as well and just maybe spray all this keep it from going back this year and just keep it down um, instead of me having to come back and mow it so a couple of options they're gonna kick around some things but I, mean, I told them i could bring my mini in here and rip all that stuff out but it would take me a week where if you brought in like a you know a 16 ton or bigger you could do it probably in a day or two so um that's what they need to do that's what i told them and uh, i think they're in agreement with that but i mean there's just trash jet ski boats house shed tires and it's a mess in here so they get that they didn't even know all that was in there because you couldn't walk through here when you know when they got this place they couldn't walk it they and and honestly you couldn't see that stuff anyway even if you did walk it it's so overgrown you know you'd have to step on it to find it so even if you did walk it you'd have never seen half of it or even that much so it is what it is i did the best i could they were happy with what i did get done and uh, i just kind of charged them for like a four hour minimum which is about how long i was here and they were happy with that so all right i'm gonna get the old asv cleaned off guy on the old john deere how's it going old 310d so i'm gonna get the asv cleaned off and uh get the blow get the brush cutter cleaned off and like i said dude i i have been nothing but impressed with this brush cutter i i really like it i really like it like i said i, I think i'm gonna i've pretty much made up my mind that i i want to have a good quality high flow brush cutter in my arsenal for stuff like this it's not going to be like an every day or every week or maybe even every month thing but when you need one man they're invaluable to have because the mulcher would not have been good in here today it just would have been a bad day so but this thing did great and no issues and i like it i want one so i think before the end of the year i'm probably going to pull the trigger on one so that's that so this thing right here has definitely got my thumbs up of approval so i'm still keeping the mtl uh the other the xct that i've got is i run it on the low flow circuit on this thing and it works great as like a bush hog for doing like light mowing some of my lighter mowing where i just kind of need a bush hog but instead of sitting on a tractor i want to be in the skid steer it works great for that um and i like having that for certain things but when i get into heavy brush like this and i need something on high flow this is this is your baby right here man oh love it so all right i'm gonna uh get this thing cleaned off open up the machine blow it out really quick and uh we'll see what we get into tomorrow i i'm waiting to hear back whether i'm gonna do some mulching down on the south end later this week so we'll we'll see if that happens or not but uh yep i'll check in with you guys later hope you guys are having a great week i'll see you on the next one bye everybody